Good morning children. Today we are going to learn the new chapter that is discrete mathematics which is chapter 12. Listen, chapter 12, 12th chapter. Okay, 12th chapter discrete mathematics. And then to learn the first exercise we need the following definition. Listen the definition. First definition, let a G be a non-empty set. Let G be a non-empty set. Okay. Let G be a non-empty set. Okay. Can you tell me what is meant by non-empty set? Very good. That set should contain at least one element. Okay. A set has no element means empty set. That is null set. But uh, we need a non-empty set. That means the set should be at least one element. One element or two element or etc. A finite number of elements also possible. Okay. We want to select a non-empty set and this non-empty set is given by the name G. Let G be a non-empty set. Condition 1. Next, condition 2. Let a star be the operation. Let star be the operation. Let a star be the operation. That's all. Okay. Let G be a non-empty set. Let a star be the operation. See, here operation means uh, this star is the operation which is equal to, suppose uh, the operation, we know that uh, the mathematical operation is four: addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Okay. So, there are four operations. So, this uh, star can take all the four operations, addition, subtraction, that is, and um, multiplication, division. And also, the star is defined by some rule also. Okay, as usual, mathematical operations plus minus divide multiplication. Also, this star can take defined by some rule. Okay, the star is defined by some rule, and as usual, mathematical operations plus minus multiplication and divide. So, which is the star? It is meant that star. Okay, now listen. The first one is first one is closer axiom, closer axiom or closer property, closer axiom. Closer axiom. Okay. Listen carefully. Closer axiom. Closer axiom means, listen, which is the fair work. See, here I want to do the rough work. Listen carefully. Which is the rough work? Let, we know that the set of integers. Can you tell me the set of integers, please? Yes. The set of integers, 0, comma, plus 1, plus 1, say for example, plus 1, comma, minus 1. Okay. The set of integers 0 that is z equal to 0 comma plus 1 minus 1 comma plus 2 minus 2 okay plus 2 minus 2 comma etc. So which is set of integers okay etc. Okay write like this. Let a z be the set of integers z equal to 0 comma plus or minus 1 comma plus or minus 2 comma etc. That means z equal to 0 plus 1 minus plus 1 comma minus 1 plus 2 comma minus 2 comma etc. Otherwise one can write like this also. That is z equal to um, z equal to etc minus 2 minus 1 0 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma etc. That is uh, it is nothing but number line. Okay. Next uh, see for example I want to select uh, any one operation. Suppose let a plus be the operation. Here z is a set and the plus is the operation z is a set and the plus is the operation where this plus is acting as instead of star the star may be star equal to plus star equal to minus star equal to multiplication star is equal to division and the star is defined by some rule also okay now the first one is closer axiom closer axiom or binary binary operation or binary operation binary operation binary operation so listen 
The first property is name as closer axiom, otherwise a binary operation. Both are same and one. Okay, both are same and one. Now, here reset is a set and the plus is the operation. Now, I want to identify, that is, uh, I want to verify the first axiom is closer axiom. That is, whether the operation plus is a binary operation or not. Or plus is, plus satisfies a closer axiom or not. I want to verify. For that, first one, closer axiom. That is whether by plus is binary operation or not. That is a question. Now, to verify closer axiom or binary operation, I want to select any two elements in the given set. Okay. See, for example, for every 1 comma 2 belongs to E set. Okay. For every 1 comma 2 belongs to E set. Okay. Or for all 1 comma 2 belongs to E set such that here 1 comma 2 we are selecting any two elements in the given set and where the given operation is plus. Now I want to put the operation in the middle of these two numbers. We are going to get an answer. That answer also belongs to Z means then closer axiom is true. Or plus is a binary operation on Z likewise. Now listen carefully. Say 1. Here operation is plus. So plus 2. Can you tell me what is 1 plus 2? Very good. 3. Is equal to 3. Now we are selecting any two numbers. And we are putting the given operation in middle and you are going to get one answer. Now, can you tell me whether this answer belongs to the given set or not? Yes, 3 belongs to EZ. Okay, 3 belongs to EZ. Because EZ equal to 0, comma, plus or minus 1, comma, plus or minus 2, comma, plus or minus 3, comma, etc. It is infinite set. So, this 3 also belongs to EZ. Therefore, closer axiom is true. That is, Plus is a binary operation. That is, plus is a binary operation on EZ. Plus is a binary operation on EZ. Likewise, you want to answer. So, it is not an examination point of view. And uh, this is a definition. To learn the first exercise, we need the, the following definition. To understand this definition, I am giving example for you. Okay. It is for our understanding. Now, closer axiom or binary operation. How to define closer axiom or binary operation means, Say, we want to select any two elements in the given set. Here, given set is G. G is the given set. And the star is the operation. G is the given set. Star is the operation. Here, Z is a given set. And the plus is the operation. Okay. Uh, now, listen. For all, listen carefully. For all, A comma B belongs to G. Okay. Here, we know the set particularly. So, we can uh, select a 1 comma 2. But here, we don't know what is a set G, but it is a non-empty set. Okay, so that is why we are selecting general elements, A comma B comma C, likewise. Okay, see, for all A comma B belongs to G, for all A comma B belongs to G, which implies, listen carefully, which implies A star B is also belongs to G. That's all. Listen carefully. For all A comma B belongs to G, a star B is also belongs to G. Therefore, closer axiom is true. Therefore, star is a binary operation on G. Star is a binary operation on G. Like that you want to answer. Listen, it is very simple. Select any two elements in the given set. And we are putting the given operation star. Okay. And we are going to get one answer. This answer also belongs to the given set. Therefore, closer axiom is true. Therefore, star is a binary operation on G. Likewise. Okay. First one completed. Okay. First one completed. Now listen carefully. Second one. Second one is commutative axiom. Okay. Commutative axiom. Commutative axiom. Listen carefully. Commutative axiom or commutative property. Okay. Commutative axiom. See, commutative axiom means very simple. Listen. Here, say for example, 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 1. That's our commutative axiom. Because, why? Because these two are equal. Yes, 3 equal to 3. 3 equal to 3. Therefore, commutative axiom is true. Okay. Say 1 plus 2 equal to 2 plus 1. That is commutative axiom. Uh, that is, addition is commutative on Z. Likewise. Okay. Addition is commutative on Z. Likewise, here, commutative axiom means I want to select any two elements again. Okay. I want to select any two elements. That is, here also, for every 1, 2 belongs to Z, such that 1 plus 2 equal to 2 plus 1, 
uh, that is a 3 equal to 3, therefore commutative transform is true. Likewise, here I want to select any two elements. Listen carefully. For all a comma b belongs to G such that, okay? For all a comma b belongs to G such that a star b is equal to b star a okay. or associative property, okay? Here, to prove associative property, you listen, which is a refer, okay, not for examination point of view, for your, for your understanding. Say associative property or associative axiom. To prove associative axiom, I want to select three elements. Say listen, for example, 1 comma 2 comma 3 belongs to EZ, such that, okay, such that 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1, 1 plus 2 plus 3, that's all. Now listen, simplification. Simplification is 1 plus, first complete the bracket. The bracket is 2 plus 3, 5, which is equal to 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 5 equal to, yes, 6. So 6 is equal to 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Therefore, listen, to prove associative axiom, I want to select any three elements in the given set. And the, the given operation is addition because we are taking Z comma plus. Okay, for example. Given operation is addition. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3. Here selecting three elements and changing the bracket is said to be associative action. Here last two are in the bracket. Here first two are in the bracket. So which is associative action. That's all. Okay. Here we know the number. So that is why we are verifying like this. But here in general, in general, listen, for all, for all A comma B comma C, for all a comma b comma c belongs to g such that because here g is a set okay for say for all a comma b comma c belongs to g such that a star b star c is equal to a star b star c which is associative axiom that is listen carefully a star b star c is equal to here we are taking in uh, alphabetic order a b c the technique is See, the first one free, last two are in the bracket. Now, the changing bracket is said to be associative. So, the right hand side is, is equal to A star B star C. That's all. Which is associative axiom. Okay. And uh, one can, uh, reversing also correct. No problem. The technique is, here first one free, last two are in the bracket. Here first two are in the bracket and the last one free. That's all. Here last two bracket, here first two bracket. That is a technique. Okay. And the while reversing also correct. No problem. Now listen, fourth one is. So listen carefully. Fourth property. Fourth property is identity axiom. Okay, identity axiom. Identity axiom. Okay, fourth property, identity axiom. Here, say, uh, for example, listen, come to here. Identity axiom. Identity axiom means, say for example, there exists an element 0 belongs to EZ. There exists an element 0 belongs to EZ such that, okay, yes, 0 belongs to EZ. There exists an element 0 belongs to EZ such that, such that 2 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 2 is equal to 2, which is equal to 2, that's all. 2 plus 0 equal to 0 plus 2 is equal to 2, which is identity axiom. See, listen, here, 0 is the additive identity. So, additive identity is 0, likewise. There exists an element 0 belongs to EZ, such that 2 plus 0 equal to 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. And uh, one can give some other example also. See, for example, suppose 3 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. Here, 0 is the additive identity. Likewise, here we want to give general definition, okay, in general, in general, there exists an element E belongs to G, there exists, there exists an element, okay, there exists an element E belongs to G, there exists an element E belongs to G such that, such that, there exists an element 0 belongs to EZ such that 3 plus 0 equal to 0 plus 3 equal to 3. Likewise, here listen carefully. 
identity axiom gives any one element answer. Here 0 is the additive identity, 0 is the identity and 3 is any one element. Okay. Here we are selecting where E is, a, e is an identity element. Okay. Let E is an identity element and let A be any one element. So we want to verify the condition is A star E is equal to here A is any one element and E is an identity element. So that is why we are selecting E belongs to G. See, there exists an element E belongs to G such that A star E is equal to, it's a reverse product. Okay, A star E is equal to E star A. Okay, A star E is equal to E star A. Is equal to A. That's all. A star E is equal to E star A is equal to A. See, for example, 3 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 3 equal to 3. Likewise, here, 3 is any one element and 0 is identity element, additive identity. Uh, therefore, here the topic, identity topic gives any one element will be the answer. See, for example, B star E is equal to E star B is equal to B, where B is any one element and E is identity element. See, for example, E star E, say, C star E is equal to E star C is equal to C. So, C is any one element and E is identity element, likewise. Here, E is an identity element, okay. Here, E is an identity element. Here, E is an identity element of G. Identity element. Okay, bro. So, fourth one is completed. Now, listen. Suppose fifth one. Fifth one is inverse accent. Inverse axiom. Inverse axiom. Or inverse property. Inverse axiom. Or inverse property. Or existence of inverse. A similar way. Identity axiom. Identity property. Or existence of identity. All are same and one. Okay. Now inverse axiom. Now come to here. Which is a purely rougher. Okay. So listen. Fifth one. For your understanding. Here is a is a set. Plus is the operation. The topic is inverse action. Listen, say identity topic gives same element answer. 3 plus 0 equal to 0 plus 3 equal to 3, where 3 is any one element. So any one element will be the answer. Now, the inverse topic gives identity answer. That is a technique. Okay? Inverse topic gives identity answer. See, for example, for example, 3 plus of minus 3 is equal to minus 3 plus 3 is equal to, can you tell me your answer? Yes, is equal to 0, which is equal to 0. 3 plus of minus 3 is equal to, minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0, because plus 3 minus 3 cancel, your answer is 0. So, 3 plus of minus 3 equal to, minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0, therefore, say, additive inverse of 3 is minus 3, therefore, additive inverse of 3 is minus 3, okay. Additive, see, operation is addition. Therefore, additive inverse of 3 is minus 3. So, for your understanding. Now, come to here question. Here, again, listen carefully. Inverse topic gives identity answer. Listen, inverse topic gives identity answer, where 0 is identity. Okay, inverse topic gives identity answer. See, for example, for your understanding, for your, for your understanding, 2 plus of minus 2 is equal to minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Therefore, you know, add, see, listen, addition is operation. So, additive inverse of 2 is minus 2. Additive inverse of 2 is minus 2. Why not? Listen for your understanding. Suppose the operation is multiplication. Z comma dot. Here dot is said to be multiplication. Okay. How to verify this uh, identity axiom means that is Inverse action. Okay. How to verify this inverse action? Here operation is multiplication. That is important. Multiplication means multiplication means 2 into 1 is equal to 1 into 2 is equal to 2. Here 2 is any one element. Here 2 into 1 equal to 1 into 2 is equal to 2, where 2 is the answer. Okay, 2 is the answer. And uh, it is a preparation for uh, Identity element, okay, for identity, for identity idea, 2 into 1 equal to 1 into 2 is equal to 2, where 1 is a multiplicative identity, multiplicative identity is 1, likewise. Suppose 
for multiplication, we can verify inverse action. Inverse action means 2 into 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, say multiplicative inverse of 2 is 1 by 2. Likewise, listen again. Additive inverse of 3 is, see, additive, that is here identity, it is identity. So, additive identity is 0. Okay. Additive identity is 0. Here, additive inverse of 3 is minus 3. Similar way, suppose the operation multiplication means 2 into 1 equal to 1 into 2 equal to 2. Here, the same element 2 is the answer. Therefore, here 1 is a multiplicative identity. And 2 into 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 is equal to 1. Here, which is fifth one is inverse action. Inverse topic is identity answer. Here, because 2 to cancel. 2 into 1, 2 into 1 by 2 equal to 1 by 2 into 2 is equal to 1, where 2 to cancel, answer is 1. So, inverse topic is identity answer, where 1 is identity, that is a technique. Okay. So, using this idea, here I want to prove. Now, the topic is, listen carefully, inverse action. For inverse action, for every, say, listen carefully, for every A belongs to G, okay, for every A belongs to G, there exists an element A inverse belongs to G, okay. See here also, for every 2 belongs to E set, there exists an element minus 2 belongs to E set. Okay, likewise, for every A belongs to G, there exists an element, there exists an element, there exists an element A inverse belongs to G, such that. Listen carefully. Say, for every A belongs to G, there exists an element A inverse belongs to G such that, such that, A star A inverse is equal to, A inverse star A is equal to E. That's all. Here, inverse of A is A inverse. Okay. Here, inverse of A is A inverse. Similar idea. Here, 2 plus of minus 2 equal to minus 2 plus 2 equal to 0. Therefore, inverse of that is, inverse of 2 is minus 2. Similar way, okay. 2 into 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, inverse of 2 is 1 by 2. But here, operation multiplication, here operation addition. Additive inverse of 2 is minus 2. Multiplicative inverse of 2 is 1 by 2. Multiplicative inverse of 2 is 1 by 2. Okay. According to the operation, it is uh, the answer is going to change. But here, star is a general operation. So that is why here there exists an element. Um, see, for every 2 belongs to Z, there exists an element minus 2 belongs to Z such that 2 plus of minus 2 equal to minus 2 plus 2 equal to 0. Similar way, see, for every 2 belongs to Z, there exists an element 1 by 2 belongs to Z such that here, listen, here 1 by 2, it is a fraction. 1 by 2 is not belongs to Z. Here 1 by 2 is not belongs to Z. Remember, 1 by 2, because fraction. Fraction is not belongs to Z. Here 1 by 2 not belongs to Z. Therefore, here multiplication is not, see, multiplication does not satisfy inverse action. Okay. Multiplication does not satisfy inverse action. Multiplication satisfies closer action. Uh, commutative axiom, next uh, associative axiom. But uh, multiplication does not satisfy inverse axiom because 1 by 2 does not belong to E set. So that is the idea. And uh, this 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is uh, belongs to set of all real numbers. Suppose here real numbers means it is correct. Okay? Like that you want to verify. Okay, now listen. Inverse axiom, for every a belongs to G, there exists an element A inverse belongs to G such that A star A inverse is equal to A inverse star A is equal to E. Here, inverse topic gives identity answer. Okay. And uh, again, identity topic gives the same element answer. That is A star E equal to E star A equal to A. But uh, inverse topic gives identity answer. Inverse topic gives identity answer. That is important. Now listen, this rough work is not for uh, examination point of view, that is for your understanding. Okay. It is purely for your understanding. Okay, children. To learn first exercise, 
we need this five definitions. Children, listen. Now, say exercise 12.1, first question, page number 235. Determine whether star is a binary operation on the given sets below. Okay. Say so determine whether star is a binary operation. Whether star, okay. Whether star is a binary operation on the given sets below. Listen, first is a reason. A star B is equal to A into modulus B on R where R is a set of all real numbers and here star is defined by some rule. Okay. Here star is defined by some rule. The rule is if the star is defined between the two elements means its answer is given by A into modulus B on R is the question. Okay. Which is the first line is the question. Now solution. The solution. Okay. Solution for first line which is solution. The solution is very simple. That is let A comma B belongs to R. Let A comma B belongs to R, then modulus B is also belongs to R. Okay? Let A comma B belongs to R, therefore modulus B belongs to R. That is, then the product A into modulus B is also belongs to R. Okay? Here A comma B belongs to R, modulus B belongs to R, therefore the product A into modulus B is also belongs to R. Therefore, A star B is equal to A into modulus B belongs to R. See, for example, for example, 2 star 3 is equal to 2 into modulus 3. Here, A star B equal to A into modulus B. Here, first element A, first element A, fix it. First one, fix it. And the second element B, and the second element becomes modulus B. Similar way, here, first element 2, first 2, fix it. And the second element gets modulus. And the product 2 into modulus 3 is also belongs to R. Because modulus 3 equal to 3 and 2 3s are 6. Therefore 6 belongs to R. Therefore star is a binary operation on the set R like that. So this is the same answer we can prepare one more time. Let us prepare one more time for our convenience. Okay. Now listen. Say A star B is equal to A into modulus B on R is a question. Now so listen. Okay, so listen. Listen carefully. Here, let A comma B belongs to R. Let A comma B belongs to R. Therefore, modulus B is also belongs to R. If A comma B belongs to R means its modulus value also B belongs to R. Its modulus value also belongs to R. Okay. Uh, next, see then the product A into modulus B. Then the product A into modulus B is also belongs to R. First A comma B belongs to R. Then if B belongs to R, then modulus B also belongs to R. Then the product A into modulus B, A into modulus B is also belongs to R. Therefore, A star B is equal to A into modulus B is belongs to R. See for example, for example, 2 star 3 is equal to 2 into modulus 3 is belongs to R. Okay, here 3 belongs to R, modulus 3 is also belongs to R because modulus 3 equal to 3. So therefore, star is a binary operation on R. Therefore, star is a binary operation. Children, listen. Now, first topic second subdivision which is a star b is equal to minimum of a comma b on the set a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 listen the condition here star is a binary operation in which the topic is determine whether star is a binary operation or not see we want to find whether star is a binary operation or not is a question given condition a star b is equal to minimum of a comma b okay on the set A is equal to 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. See, here, the minimum of A comma B. So, from the numbers A and B, that should be one minimum number, definitely. So, A star B is equal to minimum of A comma B is either A or B. Listen, minimum of A, that is A star B. A star B is equal to minimum of A comma B is either A or B, is either 
is either A or B. Definitely, among two numbers, there must be one number is a very small, that is minimum. Okay. See, for example, for example, here uh, we want to take the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Any two elements. Select any two elements. Suppose I am selecting 2, 3. See, for example, suppose 2 star 3 is equal to minimum of 2, 3. Okay. 2 star 3 is equal to minimum of 2, 3, which is equal to. Can you tell me? Uh, see, among countries, comparing 2 and 3, which is very least, very small number, that is, comparing 2 and 3, 2 is very less, that is small number, so minimum of 2, 3 is 2, okay, so therefore, star is a binary operation on A, therefore, star is a binary operation on A, therefore, star is a binary operation, and also, 2 star 3 is equal to minimum of 2 comma 3. Minimum of 2 comma 3 is equal to 2. And this 2 is belongs to A. That is important. Our answer should be in the given set. Okay. So which is belongs to A. Therefore, star is a binary operation on the set A. Star is a binary operation. Star is a binary operation on the set A. That's all. So which is second submission is completed. Okay, second submission completed. Now come to third submission. Again, the topic is same. See, determine whether star is a binary operation or not. Okay, that is the question. Remember, here the given set is R. That is important. Okay, here R is a set and the star is the operation. R is a set and the star is the operation. Listen, R is a set and the star is the operation. That is important. Here, let us start solution. Okay, so listen, R is a set and the star is the operation. Before question, here A is a set and the star is the operation. A is a set and the star is the operation. That is the technique. Okay, so remember always what is a set, what is the operation. That is important. Now, see for example, here suppose B is negative. Okay, let B is negative. For example, let B is negative. Let B is negative, then, then square root of B is not belongs to R. Okay, because say for example, for example, for example, let minus 1 belongs to R. Okay, let minus 1 belongs to R, which implies square root of minus 1. Square root of minus 1 equal to, can you tell me what is square root of minus 1? Yes, square root of minus 1 equal to I. Okay, which is equal to i. Here i is a complex number. So this i is not belongs to r. i is not belongs to r. Okay. Now take your given question. Suppose let us select two numbers. Say for example, suppose 2 star minus 1 is equal to. Okay. Say a star b is equal to a into root b is the condition. Now instead of a star b, I, I am taking 2 star minus 1. So 2 star minus 1 is equal to what is the condition? Yes, a into root b. That means where a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 1. So, where a is equal to 2. So, 2 into square root of minus 1. Okay, which is is equal to 2 into what is square root of minus 1? Yes, i. So, which is is equal to 2i. So, where 2i is a complex number. So, 2i is a complex number which is not belongs to real number. Therefore, Star is a not, say star is not a binary operation on R. Okay. Therefore, star is not a binary operation. Star is not a binary operation. Star is a binary, star is not a binary operation on the set R. So, which is the answer for third sub in first topic. Children listen, here second question from first exercise 12 point, exercise 12.1 on Z, define circle plus by M circle plus N is equal to M power N plus N power M for all M comma N belongs to Z. Is circle plus binary on Z is a question. Say listen carefully, here Z is a set, that is important. 
Here Z is a set and the circle plus is the operation. Okay. Z is a set, Z is a set and the circle plus is the operation. Whether circle plus is a binary operation or not. So that is our question. Okay. And uh, now take your given condition. So which is a given condition? It is a given condition. M circle plus N is equal to M power N plus N power M is a condition. Okay. Now for my convenience, suppose let N is equal to minus 2. Suppose, for example, N equal to minus 2. And uh, M equal to suppose 3. Listen, for my convenience. Let suppose M is equal to let M equal to 3 and N is equal to minus 2. Okay. Now take your given condition. The given condition is m circle plus n which is equal to m power n plus n power m okay now say where m is equal to 3 3 circle plus n which is that is where n is equal to minus 2 we told to minus 2 okay which is is equal to now where m equal to 3 and n equal to minus 2 okay now m m power n where m is equal to 3 so 3 power n is equal to minus 2 plus of n is equal to minus 2 the whole power m equal to 3 okay now which is equal to 3 power minus 2 what is 3 power minus 2 yes 3 power minus 2 comes in denominator means 1 by 3 square plus of here minus the whole cube that is a negative power r power gives a negative answer so that is why plus into minus minus 2 cube is equal to 8 okay now, which is equal to 1 by 9 minus 8. Okay. And uh, cross multiply, you get 8 nines are 72. So, minus 72 plus 1 is equal to minus 71. So, minus 71 by 9. So, which is a fraction? Here, z is the given set. We know that z is a set which has the elements 0, comma, plus or minus 1, comma, plus or minus 2, comma, etc where z is a set of all integers but uh, your answer is a fraction so minus 71 by 9 is not belongs to z okay minus 71 by 9 is not belongs to z so the left hand side is given by 3 circle plus of minus 2 so 3 circle plus of minus 2 is equal to minus 71 by 9 so which is a fraction so this answer is not belongs to the given set z therefore the circle plus is not a binary operation on z is a conclusion. The question is whether it is a binary operation or not. So now I want to write conclusion. The conclusion is therefore the circle plus is not a binary operation. Is not a binary operation on the set z. Okay? Hence the answer.